got the school. It's Reggie. Gotcha. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Uh, right now we're seeing lots of cars in the parking lot, lots of uh, emergency vehicles, emergency personnel. Uh, we do see one car over here that's uh, kind of cordoned off. This is on the corner of the school. Not sure what that's all about, but I'm sure this uh, most likely has to do uh, uh, with the shooting. What I've been looking around for, trying to see if I can see any of the children outside, uh, maybe uh, uh, from them where they were evacuated, but I don't see them. I'm sure they have them inside safe someplace. But uh, a lot of personnel out here with weapons, fire department, uh, just a chaotic scene right now. That's correct. Uh, for some reason, they have this off. Uh, uh, being a retired police officer, I can tell you, if they have this cordon off, this has most likely has something to do uh, with this incident. Uh, this is very close to the uh, main entrance of the school. We also have the main entrance of the school also cordoned off as well. And we have a lot of the uh, police officers here taking a real close look at this car right now. Uh, looks like they have a dog in there as well. That is correct. I have not seen any children right now. My belief would be that they have them somewhere safe inside. And I mean, it is cold out here, so they're probably just to keep them safe and away from the building.
it's definitely a very rural area, a very small town. Um, I can see as I look out my window some other schools in the area, probably the uh, high schools in this area. But uh, really not much, a lot of trees. Uh, the main highway over here is 84. But uh, that's really about it.